Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit open and boom shakalaka. Fully rooted Galaxy S9 S9 Plus. Hi guys, today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to root the Galaxy S9 S9 Plus on the latest Android 9.0 Pi. Let's go ahead and take a look. Hi guys, so grab some Bepis and let's go ahead and root. So first thing you're going to go into is go into settings, go into about phone. Make a note of your model number. You can see I have an SMG960F slash DS. This is a dual SIM standard Exynos model. Now this root method only works for those of you with Exynos Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus. If you have Qualcomm, you'll need the Chinese dual SIM, which I think is SMG960 hundred. If you have a Galaxy S9 Plus, this should say SMG 965F. If you have any US models, Canadian models ending in SMG 960U, you cannot really root it, all right, as you can't unlock the bootloader. So make sure your model number is SMG 960F, 65F, or G9600, or I think G9650. Um, go ahead and check the model number supported on my site for exact details before you begin. If this is the first time rooting your phone, make sure go read over the written instructions at least a few times before beginning. All right, after that, we're going to go into software information and make sure you have Android 9.0. All right, 9.1 should work, anything Pi. This tutorial is only for Android 9.0. I do have older version Android 8.0 root method. You can follow that for the older root method. Once you have these things figured, you're good to go. Now go into the build number and hit it about five times. One, two, three, four, five. It should say developer mode has been turned on. Mine says it's been already turned on because I already turned it on. Once you do that, hit the back button twice and you will see a new menu option at the bottom called developer options. Go ahead and tap on that and you will see OEM unlocking menu like the fourth or fifth. Now, if you just got your phone, you may not see it. Some of the Galaxy S9s and S9 Pluses have seven day jail. Basically, after you bought your phone, you'll have to wait seven days. All right, if you don't see this option, come back in seven days. If you do see this option, it's turned off, go ahead and turn it on. Now, very, very important if you don't want to wait another seven days. Now, sometimes when you enable OEM unlocking, it will try to factory reset your whole phone. Now, the problem with that is that it will reset your phone. And once you reboot, you will actually have to wait additional seven days for OEM unlocking option to show on, even though it's on. All right. So if you don't want to do that, this is what you got to do. Listen very, very carefully. After you try to enable OEM unlocking, it says it's going to wipe everything. Say yes. As soon as that happens, it's going to reboot your phone. Your phone's going to turn black and that's when it's rebooting. So as soon as your phone reboots, you're going to hold down volume down. All right. The Bixby and the power. Let's pretend that you're going to enable OEM unlocking now. And it says it's going to do a factory reset. Now it's probably telling you like it's going to reboot. As soon as the screen goes off, you're going to hold down volume down, big speed and power. All these three buttons immediately after your screen turns off. And if you keep waiting, waiting uh, after about 10 seconds, you should be in, in Odin download mode. And you can even do it from any state. You can see I was just holding uh, volume down, big speed and power. Uh, which is actually the next step anyways, All right? Once you have enable OEM unlock, um, you can go ahead and hold down volume down, big speed and power for about 15 seconds. And you should be in this screen, All right. So if your phone reboots when doing OEM unlock, make sure you do that and you should be in this screen. If you're able to enable it without resetting, um, same thing, just hold down volume down, big speed and the power until you see this warning screen. Once you see this warning screen, you're going to go ahead and hit volume up. That's going to put you into Odin download mode. And you will need a Windows computer for this because the tools that Samsung supports is run on Windows. So you're going to go ahead and connect a USB cable to your computer. All right. Um, I want you guys to go grab some Bepis so you can go ahead and relax. I got my Bepis here. All right, the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and download all the stuff you need. You're going to need to download Odin 3 v 3.13.1.zip. Don't use older versions. They might not be compatible. Download Samsung USB um, drivers. This is drivers for all the Samsung Galaxy S9, S9 Plus, and also the Torp recovery. All right, you'll need to download this. 
And you also need to download the latest root for OEM issue devices. This is V5 as of this video. There might be a new one. I'll update my tutorial. So check my written tutorial before beginning. That's pretty much it. As far as twerp, you can go to twerp.me, twrp.me, go to devices and go ahead and type your device, Galaxy S9. Um, so that's for the S9, S9 Plus. All right, I don't actually see the option for Qualcomm, so I'm not sure if Qualcomm is supported. You may be able to find it on um, XDA. Now, if you have Qualcomm Chinese version, go ahead and check uh, XDA, see if there's a version of Twerp, but I don't see it. But you're gonna go ahead and download this one or this one, Star LTE or Star 2 LTE. I have a uh, star LTE here and go ahead and download the latest version ending in .img.tar. So you should have these four files. First thing you'll do is go ahead and double click on Odin, go ahead and extract all, and they should extract into a new directory called Odin3 underscore v3.13.1. All right, go ahead and double click on Odin program and you should see a random con number, a blue highlighted box. If you don't see this, um, go ahead and run the Samsung USB drivers all right, run the program. This will install Samsung drivers for any Windows. And once it's installed, go ahead and unplug and replug the USB cable to your S9 or S9 Plus, and you should see it. And after that, you should see this box. If you still don't see it, try restarting Odin program. And right, once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and choose AP, and we're gonna go into our download folder and go into, um, and go ahead and choose the twerp, blah, blah, img.tar, hit open. All right. Now this is very, very important. This is another step where if you mess up, you're going to have to go cry to your mother for another seven days. If you miss this step, you will have to reflash stock from her and wait seven additional days. So don't miss this step. We're going to hit start. And as soon as the screen goes off, we're going to hold down volume up Bixby and the power. Got it. We're going to hit volume up big speed and power. Just hit them all together like this as the screen goes off. Very simple to do. Do not miss steps. So practice volume up, big speed and power when the screen goes off. All right, ready? So I'm going to do it. Watch this carefully. I'm going to hit start. As soon as the screen goes off, I'm going to go ahead and hold down volume up, big speed and power right before the logo comes up. And I'm going to hold it for a little bit. And when I see the team win logo, I'm going to go ahead and let go. All right, very easy to do, but a lot of people mess up. If you mess up, you'll have to, again, wait seven days, go follow the unroot instructions for S9 or S9 Plus, re reflash stock firmware, and you're gonna have to wait seven days and try this again. All right, hopefully you got to this step, then congratulations, you're pretty much done with the hardest step of this rooting process. All right, next you're gonna go ahead and go into keep read only, and we're gonna go into wipe, go to format data. This is where it's everything on your phone, by the way. And if you don't want to keep going, go ahead and reboot and save all your stuff before continuing. But your stuff should have been wiped off when you did the OEM unlock anyways. So say yes, and this will erase everything and go back to home and go to reboot menu and hit recovery. Make sure you do that and hit do not install. All right, if you don't do it, what happens is we need to install Torp recovery and also disable the security check for Twerp, all right? That's why we're re rebooting straight back into Twerp. If you let this reboot, then again, you'll have to uh, flash stock firmware. All right, go ahead and keep read only, you're fine. And now you should be able to connect it to your computer. It should be connected as a computer. So you can see Omni Star LTE, that's mine. Or it should say Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus. Now I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go ahead and copy the root for OEM issue devices. This is for both a uh, Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it into the internal storage of my Galaxy S9. All right, this is basically a root file that includes RM, Bypass, Magisk, everything you need for the Android Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus Pi. We're going to go ahead and go into install and we're going to go ahead and choose the file we just copied over. Confirm to flash. You do not need your cable anymore. And this will give you, this will launch a graphical installer. Go ahead and hit next. Agree, next. All right, next, next. And go ahead and proceed with ROM flasher and multi-tool. Uh, make sure you choose patch for OAM issue. This is what's gonna fix it so when you reboot, it's not going to give you that official binary crap, All right? Um, also root with Magisk, hit next, next, and run now. 
And when this is done, we should be able to reboot and fully root it. You may have to still install Magist Manager APK, but we're pretty much done. If you got to this point, pat yourself on the back, all right? And yeah, you should be good to go. All right, when that's done, hit next. Reboot your device now and cross my fingers that it's gonna reboot. Reboot without error. All right, if you got there, you should be good to go. Crossing my fingers. Yes, if you got to this point, you should be good to go. I'm pretty sure. And let this boot. And boom shakalaka. If you got here, you should be good to go. Let me go ahead and skip through this real quick. Okay guys, um, I've got in here, but there is no Magisk Manager app. Okay, you can go ahead and download uh, Magisk Manager, the latest version. I'll have a link to this. Um, you can also just download it from Magisk official um, site on uh, XDA. Let me go ahead and download this real quick. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open Magisk Manager. You might have to go into settings, hit allow from source. Go ahead and install. And hopefully we have a fully rooted Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus. Okay, you may get a sign that it's not installed. Uh, what you can do is go ahead and try installing the files again. So I'm gonna go ahead and power off. And you're gonna do volume up. Bixby and power, ready? Volume up, Bixby and power. All right, hold it for a little bit until it boots into Torp and let go. All right, if you see an option for read only, um, go ahead and choose that. And once you're here, go to install and go ahead and find that file again. Go ahead and install the file again. For some reason, mine got erased, so I'm gonna actually just connect it and copy it over real quick. I'm actually not sure what happened there, but go ahead and install. And I copied the file over again, the root for OEM issue. And hopefully the second time is the charm. I'm not sure what happened there. It should work the first time. Go ahead and hit next, same thing. Pass for OEM issue, root with Magisk, next, next. Run now. Next, finish, and it should try to reboot. Didn't reboot, so I'm gonna hold down volume down and power for 10 seconds, which will also reboot your phone, or about 15 seconds. There we go, reboot it. Sorry, this tutorial got a little bit longer than I thought it was gonna be. It booted back into twerp. I'm just gonna go in um, reboot. And thank God, this time it worked. I thought uh, I did something wrong. And you know, I'm making these tutorials and sometimes things go wrong, not the way you intended and it's just a headache because you have to make the tutorial all over from scratch. All right, reboot it back. Hopefully Magisk Manager works and second times is a charm. Hopefully, and yes, boom shakalaka, install V18. So for some odd reason, I had to reinstall Magisk Manager twice, but you will actually want to install it twice because otherwise you won't get the RMM state bypass and OEM unlock disable. Um, so just run it twice like I showed you exactly like this and you should have a fully working um, Magisk Manager with full root. You can also go ahead and check for safety and for S9 and S9 Plus, you will pass it, which means you'll be able to hide root uh, for Google Pay and everything else you need to use. All right, you should be fully rooted, but if you want to fully verify that it's working, you can go and download any rooted app. Uh, I do recommend Titanium Backup App, which is great for backing up your apps or restoring with app data. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit open, and boom shakalaka. Fully rooted Galaxy S9, S9 Plus. All right, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching the video. Hit the thumbs up for me if you want me to keep making more root tutorials. Of course, leave a comment um, if you need help. Fastest way to reach me is on Twitter at Zedomax, C-E-D-O-M-A-X. Have a great day.
And as always, stay <laughs> on route. Click here to subscribe. 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 To subscribe.